So today we are going to be talking about off the grid. Now, I saw this video, or a video, I want to say two weeks ago. Again, very busy month this month. Just like crazy new shit being everywhere. A lot of Call of Duty drama, Nick Marks drama, SM2 drama, a lot of that stuff, right? I wanted to really just kind of, you know, sit back, relax, and kind of give you guys a good opinion on these new games that are coming out. Um, one in particular being Off the Grid. Uh, this looks like it is a battle royale that's very realistic. Very soon, very, very soon. Too, too early to tell whether it's going to look like the way it does or the way it's going to play like the way it does. There's a lot of assumptions that are being made online. I'll show you a couple of different I'll, maybe i'll show you one video and then i'm going to show you a little bit of a uh like a trailer breakdown uh, not the full trailer but just like one of the weapon scenes which kind of looks really cool which i want to show you, show you guys and kind of you know talk talk about for for a little bit but it looks like off the grid is uh is going to be a realistic battle royale that kind of takes place on an island that constantly changes so it's going to be that classic where the the everybody wants the island to change with people, maybe the size of it, or the um, you know the 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 things that that are that are able to be done on it, um, and it looks like it's going to be a fun experience. Again, we're doing a lot of assuming. This this looks like it's going to be a game that is going to not only bring a whole new wave of possible game development our our way which is what i've been trying kind kind of trying to fight for and bring a whole new game scene to us so that we not only are eating the same shit and calling it caviar we are actually making progress in the gaming world and making games that not only are interactive with our you know plans um with our with our attention with our um you know with our ambitions but now they're going to start hopefully making games that are, you know, that are real time. And with the introduction of AI, of AI, there's a lot of games that are going to probably implement that, which are going to bring us into a very, very interesting time, especially in gaming. Um, there's a lot of controversy around AI right now and how it kind of, you know, it's alive, it's sentient. But a lot of people are throwing around um, a lot of buzzwords to kind of scare people or are trying to sound smart but at the end of the day um i'm going to give you like a little brief summary of the whole thing here and my opinion on it uh i don't th there is one video i saw and somebody tried to say that just because a robot or an ai was able to pick a ball out of a basket and say it's a pink ball whatever they tried it 500,000 times and then they 500,001 they 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 succeeded, right? Um yes, that is awesome, but that does not mean that it is sentient or alive or th can think for itself, right? Um the comparison with that was that a child is taught the same way. You do something with a child a few thousand times or even more, then finally they get it and then they start to learn. But the difference between computer code and a child is that a child has a brain to develop, right? And they have feelings and they live in the real world. Now, I'm not saying that it's completely off the table that AI can't be sentient, but you have to think about it in, in a sense of maybe in the digital world, a an AI program could potentially be sentient or a being or whatever because then it kind of grows up in, in its own world. But if you're just talking about a robot that was programmed to do something over and over again until it gets it right, that doesn't mean that it's actually has feelings or that it can actually think about things, right? Um, you know, any AI people, if you're in the comments, you can let me know if I'm wrong or whatever, but that's kind of my take on the whole thing. Um, but AI being introduced into video games is going to create a whole new dynamic, especially in a game like Off the Grid, because if you're able to not only have player to player arguments you know sessions uh that means that the ai in the game that you know the non-playable characters the the npcs are going to have 
you're going to have same similar interactions with those. And not only that, but the AI may actually also learn off of conversations that we have. So that may be a bad thing because a lot of people are very racist on these games. So there's a good and a bad side. So let's hope that there's a way to regulate that. But at the end of the day, I think that the AI is going to be able to give you a more immersive experience, especially in a VR game that is that is going to give you an overall better feeling when you're playing a game or an overall better immersive experience and that's that's really what you want in, in these types of games especially something like off the grid it's realistic it's made on in unreal engine 5 and it's going to give you a, a, the best possible um you know experience that you could that you could hope for and if you agree with this, please drop a like on the video. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate all the support so 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 far. And uh, if you have a comment on AI, just let me know. I will do my best to answer it. But anyway. Uh, there's a couple of things in Off the Grid that I, I've seen so far out of the trailers that I've watched um, and the stuff that I'm going to show you. But I'll get into more detail on it in just a second because we're going we're gonna to watch the, a couple of vi videos or a couple scenes from videos and kind of break it down. Um, this is a battle royale. A lot of people are comparing it to Warzone and how Warzone's failing right right now. Yada yada yada. Right now, there's nothing close to what Off the Grid is offering, as far as experience, as far as you know, openness, like op open world, because it's going to be kind of like a battle royale, almost like an open world bat battle royale. Um, I would even dare to say that it might be even a Warzone killer or a Warzone Two killer, right? I don't want to say that and that be law, but it is very well possible that it might be a rival or even kill Warzone or anything that's like it. Like that's why I think Fortnite is trying to um, in in innovate their system so that they, they don't get left behind, which I think is what, what is, is happening to Warzone and Activision and Call of Duty in general. Um, if you stop in, in innovating, it doesn't matter how big big you are, you'll end up just stagnating. And, you know, a few billion dollars a year is still pretty good, but at the end of the day, you're just going to be ripping off the same au audience and you're not really going to be making a any real change or bringing anyone new in, in, into, in, into the picture, which is very important if you want to grow a company, right? So I'm thinking, right, that um, that off the grid is going to be a good breakthrough for everyone. And if, if it is real, I know that we've had some scares. I don't know if you guys have seen the day before that game was a, um, was a pretty much a lie from the, from the, from the, from the beginning. There's a lot of e ev evidence supporting that. If you want to go on different YouTube channels to go find that stuff, you, you can do that. But, um, I don't think that. Uh, this is like this. They've ha they've had a lot of different trailers. They've had a lot of different stuff. So it, it looks like it's real. It could just be animated, which is very well possible. But that, that also doesn't mean that it's not going to look great or it's also not going to be real. Uh, the day before just kept getting worse and worse over time. And that's really what kind of sparked, you know, the um, the chain reaction of, of a lot of people losing trust in, in, the, in, in, the, in the game. There's probably some internal things that we didn't understand or that we didn't know about, which is fine. But you know they should have been sharing that with the with with the community instead of just you know keeping it on 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 the down low, and then making excuses for not being able to launch their their game. Um, this is a lesson for anyone that's trying to release a game in general. Like keep your people in the fucking loop. Seriously, no matter what you do. Um, I. I I I will probably I I will probably say this say say this. Um. Off the grid, it's probably going to be a at least another two year type title, maybe two two to five years, I I, I would say. So I, I wouldn't expect this game to be released within the next year or two. If it is, I'd be surprised. They might have been working on it way before what they've done. Um, but be cautious before you buy this game. And if it's free to play, great. That's definitely awesome. I like the fact that Warzone does those things. Um. And, you know, Fortnite and Apex and whatever, and whoever does it. Um, but you can kind of get a feeling of, of it. Um, but, you know, if it's free to play, be very cautious because it could be just not a, a muddy grab, but you could start seeing things that, like, Fortnite we're, 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 we're doing, Apex we're doing, Warzone we're doing. So you want to be very careful of 
what you pick and choose in in general, right? So let's kind of dive into this real real quick. I wanted to show you this this trailer real quick. It's not gonna be the whole trailer. I want to show you the weapons portion. Um, you you can see the different trailers of part one and two all online er everywhere. Um, the person that I saw this from is Infant Infant Terrible. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. If I'm butchering his name, I apologize. But uh, we're going through the weapons thing here, so. Let's go here and let's make this a little bit longer. Right, so. I saw this. This is probably just another cinematic thing. I don't think it's going to be something crazy. But just something to kind of look at, to kind of look forward to whenever, whenever you see these things, right? Um, they're putting some time into this, which is a good, which is a good sign. It looks awesome. It's a cool L L L LMG. I, 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 I don't know if they've done other ones like this. I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, but they also did a sniper thing too. This is this. Is, they're showing you the bullet, which kind of comes out. I don't know if this it actually affects real gameplay or not. Um, but that's a sniper. Looks like a, maybe possibly like a 50 cal type of rifle. looks awesome right that's pretty cool pretty pretty fu 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 futuristic that that's that's the channel in case you're wondering um so the the um the thing about oopsies the thing about um the really the thing that i wanted to kind of with this trailer is that a lot of the stuff that they've been releasing has been very cinematic so very you know like theater almost wor worthy right these animations um they're very enticing they're very good but the thing is that like now we have to kind of moderate expectations like it's not going to look like that when you go to play it right it's a cyberpunk as much as i hate to bring this up it is a cyberpunk inspired game now cyberpunk was disastrous when it when it launched like i think it just started getting good what two three months ago four months ago five months ago maybe six months something like that i pretty i want to say six months and just know that whenever you see trailers like these know that that's not what the game is going to look like like the games will not look like this for probably another 10 to 20 to 50 years right because you're going to melt your fucking PC, like at the end of the day, or Xbox or whatever. It doesn't really matter what system you're on. Like, you cannot run that as a game. It's almost impossible. So, and, and, and when, when that becomes the standard for games, there's going to be some, there's going to be a new standard, like 24K trailers that are going to look like the way that they're going to look like in the next 50 years so it's like there's the standard is always going to be we're always going to be trying to catch up to the standard as far as sit as cinematics go right so your game is never going to look like that ever I, I don't think it's ever going to look like that it'll look like the way it is now in 50 years or 20 years or whatever but it's not going to look like the way it's going to look like in 50 years from now the trailer itself the game is never going to look like that so you're always going to be playing catch up just keep that in mind. Um, so that's why I'm trying to also like minimize expectations. I'm not trying to shit on your parade. I think it. I think it looks great. I'm. I'm gonna probably give it a try if I can play. I probably can't play it on, on this Xbox. And I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be out, which I'll show you guys in a second on a, on, the, on, the, on the TikTok video. But I, th I think it's only gonna be out on uh, Xbox S and X. Like I don't think it's gonna be able to run on this Xbox, in which I wouldn't expect it to. Like I, my PC almost melt, or my my Xbox almost melted playing on. Um, you know, uh, what was it called? Uh, playing uh, World 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 War Z, and even even Warzone like almost melted this Xbox. So at the end of the day, I don't expect it to play on this. Like I'm probably I don't know when I'm gonna get a new Xbox. I don't really have the you know money for it right now, which is also why I'm making these videos so I can make some more money and hopefully buy new stuff. So you know, like the video if you can, and share with your friends and ma make a comment that does help you know, get, get these videos to go out as far as po possible is these are the ones that I can actually mo monetize are the, are, are the, are the podcasts and, you know, hopefully be able to get some sponsors and, wh and whatever else and give you guys the best co content possible. And by the way, I'm not going to ever like do a sponsorship that I don't believe in. So I'm never going to sell you guys trash. Just let, just letting you know, like I, that's why I have, I don't have, I don't have a sponsor now, like e either, especially on my shorts, because I just haven't found a sponsor that's good enough. 
Like I, I, I wear the Astros in hopes to like maybe like you know, Turtle Beach or Astro or something like like that. I, I, I actually had tur- Turtle Beaches, but I, um, I gave them to my to my friend because he because he needed he needed he needed a new headset. So oh, he was and trust me, it was bad. Like this was, <coughs> excuse me, this was broken. Like this thing was broken on it on his headset, and he couldn't even like. He couldn't even use them. Like, he had to, like, tape it up and shit. So, I was like, here, just take these fucking headsets, dude. Uh, but those are Turtle Beaches. I gave those to him. And then I wear the Astros in hopes that one day maybe somebody would, you know, um, <laughs> sponsor this channel with new headsets or a new Xbox or something along those lines. But, you know, hey, I, I work with what I have. And I'm trying to give you guys the best content possible. So, I'll be getting, hopefully, maybe a new camera or two. Um, you know, because these really... This one, this one, and then that one and then uh that one is my phone right so i don't know if you can even see it in this one can you see it in this one yeah so like you see you see like right right there like that's that's my phone right and then that's another phone over over, over there and then this 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 right here is my is my computer so i'm doing my best but i'm gonna have to probably get some webcams that are better because so, you know i i notice graininess and i also notice you know sh- in, in, in the sh- whenever i make the shorts on this like the graininess and stuff like that and i i don't like that stuff like i like to give you guys the best content possible to clear you know for clarity not just you know for audio pur- purposes like this is a this is a pretty cheap mic microphone i think this 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 was like 40 bucks with the arm and everything and this this is a good microphone i i, I definitely would get an- another one of these which I kind of have to because there's a dent on this one. I don't know if you guys have been watching. For those of you that have been watching this channel for a very long time, there was a video where I got really pissed off and I squeezed this microphone. It was it was a Call of Duty video. And I squeezed this microphone and now you're gonna you're gonna hear some background noise. Sorry, but if you if you take a look here, you see that I I squashed the microphone by accident. So that was my stupidity, but it still works pretty well. And I'm going to keep it until it dies. But, um, you know, that's kind of like what I'm working with. So, uh, you know, there's a there's a very... Uh, I'm trying to give you guys the best content possible. You know, the best quality possible. But I can only do it, you know, so much with what I have. Um, and I'm in like a guest room right now. I don't really have my own studio. I wish I did. But, you know, maybe one day. Um, but back to off the grid. Um, I want to show you guys the TikTok itself and uh, kind of like with a good overall basis of what this is. The channel that did this or the TikTok channel that did this was called the Mirror the Mirror Gaming. So I'll put it down here so you guys can see his his um, uh, his channel and, 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 and everything and follow him if, if, if you want to. A new battle royale might be ready to take its place. Off the Grid is a brand new battle royale, the likes of which we've never seen before. There's 150 players, PvP as well as PvE, and the game will have storyline driven missions, all taking place within the same map as other players in real time. Think GTA roleplay, but battle royale. The game is set in a dystopian cyberpunk-esque world, with CVO Neil Blomkamp saying, our ambition is not only to create the Battle Royale 2.0 by adding deep player progression, but to build an evolving world designed to take on a life of its own. The cinematic trailers look really promising. And that's why as Warzone 2 struggles, so, a new battle... So, I want to point out that he said that they that they wanted to make a game that was very... That was like pretty much a, a, able to, to sustain itself. So, that's also the reason why uh, I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of AI in, in this in a, in, a, in a game like this. Not only with maybe the NPCs, but also with like the actual like level itself. Like the AI maybe even be able to code certain things within this this universe, right? Like and like maybe code more things onto the island. You know, may, maybe if like enough people ask for it in game, the AI can like make another building or make like a more centralized building or maybe a structure or a highway or something along those lines. Maybe, maybe build in more cars. Like, there's also gonna be some control there, obviously. Hopefully, you know, hopefully from um from the studio itself. But um, there's a lot of different things that could go very well here, and there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So. I want to caution everybody that <clears throat> your game will probably, this game will probably not look like this no matter what, you know, no matter what PC you have, no matter what graphics card you have. You'll get close to it. But the problem is, is that this game is going to be a big, big change. This is a huge change in the space. And that is usually good, 
but also a lot of times things happen very fast and they happen before we even kind of re realize that, 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 that they actually happen. Right. So this is going to come out. All right. This has, this has been happening in, in, in the AI space too. There's this is another point that I want to get across. This, this game is going to come out. There's going to be other creators, which this happened in, this is the best example I, I could give of this. This game comes out. Call, um, other companies are going to be making an exact replica of this. And it may not be as good. It may be better. Who knows? But the best example I could give of this is Battle Royales. Fortnite, uh, well, C CS, um, PUBG, I think, was the original, I want to say. There is probably some other similarities, but whatever. I think the original was PUBG, actually, like a Battle Royale scenario. Um, a lot of people consider, I forgot the name of it, Horizon? No. HRZN? I forgot the name. I forgot the name. H H one Z one. I think that I think that's the name of the game. Um, a lot of people consider that more of a battle royale, but like it's not technically with the parachutes and everything. I think PUBG was the first one to do that. Whatever. Let let, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. It's fine. Um, get, getting on with with my point. So this happened with battle royales. Then Fortnite came out. Then Apex came out. Then Call of Duty did it. Then you know. Then it's like all the all the third party guys are doing it, and it's like then it just becomes this copy and paste method, right? And a lot of times it's not always better than the original. There are some that are better than than the original. You're gonna get that. So this is gonna come out. I'm telling you, there's gonna be a lot of different knockoffs that are gonna come off, and I can tell you, Call of Duty is gonna be the first one of the first ones to do it, or one of the last ones to do it. And it's gonna be shit. So again, if you're in the Call of Duty community, I would probably try this out first. And then you can play the Call of Duty once so you have something something to compare it to, so you're not just eating shit and calling it caviar yet again. Okay, that's the one thing I wanted to caution you with. Just give this a try when when it comes out. If you don't have the hardware for it, which I'm probably not going to have the hardware for it, I don't even know if this computer can handle it. Most likely, this computer's getting slow with me like recording videos and <laughs> and like e and editing videos. Like I'm like. I don't, know, I don't know if this video will have it, but the last the last video I made in the background had the, had the fan going on this thing. It's still going. I'm trying to keep the microphone away from it so you're not hearing the in, in the background the entire time because the fan is just going off. It's just literally just going off right now. And I think it's I'm, I'm seeing it pick up. So this whole this whole episode, I mean, even the last one, probably had the same thing. And I apologize. That's another thing I'm trying to fix. You know, like I may even just get rid of this PC or maybe get another PC and record, have a recording PC and having, and, and have a, uh, a gaming PC or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is, this has been doing that whole, oh God. Oh, it froze. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> the other camera just froze. I'm kind of scared. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean this this I this this PC can barely ha handle what what I'm doing w with it now. So I mean I I I don't think it's gonna be able to handle. <laughs> I remember I made a video one time about how blaggy Battlefield 2042 was, but then I realized that it was because of me and my computer. I was trying to record and play it on the same computer, and that was a that was a big no no no. They said they said do not do that. That was a stupid idea. Um, but this is an Alienware computer. I mean this this has served me very well. Uh, in, in the past, so you know, at, at the at the end of the day, it, it uh, has served me very well. So, um, I want to thank you very much for watching this episode, and I want you to leave to leave a like, and uh, especially if you're excited for a game like this, a game that's very vast and kind of you know, its own li li little universe, right? Um, this is the this is the kind of this is the direction that we need ga gaming to really head is where AI kind of takes over a lot of the heavy lifting as far as story and cinematic goes. And then uh, the developers can really focus on making the game that really we, we really need at, at the end of the day, which is something that is adaptive, can be cannot just be like one franchise after another to where I, you know, especially with Call of Duty, where I have to spend 60 something dollars plus on, on every single new iteration that, that, that they decide to make. Like we need a game that we can build upon that has a lifetime or even, you know, 
a few decades worth of time that you could put into it and actually get something out out of it. Uh, that's kind of where Grand Theft Auto comes in. But you know, there's um, there's a oh, actually, there's one other thing that I wanted to mention too. Um, I think DMZ is very close to this, especially from this TikTok that I showed you. Um, there are a lot of examples that he made is really what DMZ kind of is in Warzone 2 right now or in Call of Duty in the franchise. Um, so if they are able to build out D DMZ to be something like this, they where they kind of in integrate AI into it, like real AI, um, you know, where you kind of where they kind of make like a story almost out 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 of it. They give you objectives, you know. They have a lot of those mechanics in there now, but a lot of it is not really um you know, ironed out yet really so it's more of like uh you know you drop in you kind of get some shit you know get some weapons that was really what, what it was for for getting cool we weapon uh skins and you know different variations of, of of weapons like you can get the scar and whatever else um that's really what it, what it was for they 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 again they missed their mark on how cool dmz could have been as as a game itself uh, i haven't played dmz in a while so they could have updated it a quite quite a bit i haven't played in like a month or so so they could have updated it. You can let me know in the comments uh, and drop a like too. But um, I don't, you know, I I, th I think that DMZ is the closest to what this could, what what this game off the grid could be.